Hi, I'm Steve Sherman, creator of Power of Process. I'm here tonight to share a little darkroom tip with uh, many of you darkroom uh, printers. And we all have these tools and these dodging wands that we've made over, over the years, different shapes, and we use them and change angles and whatnot to, to uh, block light and whatnot. And here's a series of cards that we can build uh, little, little shapes where we can burn larger areas. You notice most most all of what's going to face the actual paper is very dark or black, so that there's no reflectance, contamination, and whatnot. But what I want to show you is this card. It's actually um, black uh, foam core, so it's thicker and has has more body. You can see if you were to use just ordinary flat um, four ply board, it gets very heavy and you can't hold a shape very well with it. This, on the other hand, is nice and sturdy. I've affixed or dry mounted a piece of white, um, just very, very thin uh, poster board to it so that the image reflects back and I can see the image uh, very clearly so that I can get a dodging, dodging wand or, in this case, a card in an exact location. I'm fortunate enough to have a foot switch on my enlarger and once I get everything in place, I turn that foot switch on and that dodging wand or the card, whatever it may be, is exactly where it needs to be and I'm just maximizing, I'm, I'm being as most efficient with my dodging time or burning time, whatever the case may be. It's a, it's a matter of efficiency and that this card allows me to do that. So I'm going to turn the lights off now and give you a little, little demonstration and uh, hopefully you'll get some benefit from this. So this is a scene uh, that I took uh, down in New York City and it has a, if you can see right here, it has a very, very uh, bright area of, um, of ground lights that needs considerable burning. So what I do is I've actually put a mark on the tape that's at the side of the easel that helps me. But I'm also, I've got this card already built that you may have seen earlier. It's got the right amount of uh, opening, but I put the, I put this card black card, black faces down and white card faces up so that I can get this uh, this card that I built exactly on so that all it's going to cover is just that strip of hot ground lights. So you can see the image. The actual photographic paper is covered right now by this card. I get my dodging card in here where I want it. That's exactly the height that I want right there. I shut the light off. The card in my left hand stays where it is. And I just gradually move it a little bit, letting light just hit the area that I want to burn down. You can see that. Hopefully you can see that uh, happening through there. The uh, particular I'm going to turn the house lights on. The particular area that I have to burn, it gets burned about three f-stops more than the general exposure. So this little card and this little targeted um, opening in the uh, the cards that I've I've clipped together becomes very very important because of of burning three times more than the actual normal exposure. You have to be fairly accurate, even with multi-contrast papers to affect um, a print that doesn't show any manipulation whatsoever. So as I say, this card that um, is black on the bottom and white on the top allows me to zero in on a projected image, get my card or dodging wand, whichever the case may be, all lined up. I trip, I shut the light off with my foot. I move this card out and either the dodging wand or the the uh, burning card stays right where it is. It's already exactly where I want it to be. I hit the uh, exposure with the foot switch and I just gradually move things around so that there is no evidence of manipulation. That ultimately is the acid test. You don't want to see any manipulation. So hopefully this tip is helpful to you folks. If you'd like to learn more tips, go to my free blog powerofprocesstips.com. You can become a subscriber and get uh, free tips twice a month.